Welcome to part four of modding the original Xbox. In this episode, we're going to talk about nulling the EEPROM. As you can see with this Xbox, it has a random Xbox HDD key, as well as a random Xbox HDD password. The Xbox HDD password is set from the Xbox HDD key as well as characteristics of the hard drive such as the serial number and the hard drive model. The reason why we want to null the EEPROM is in case something happens to your Xbox hard drive you can quickly rebuild an Xbox hard drive without having to locate the EEPROM to build a new hard drive. On the original Xbox Rocky 5 menu we just have to open up applications and launch NK Patcher settings. Navigate down to number 2, EEPROM, and then go down to 2.1, Advanced Features, go down to Hard Drive, and Null Key. So we're going to select Yes. We know that the master password will be set to Team Assembly in all caps. Now we can exit out of the tool by pressing left trigger, right trigger, back and black. Okay, so now I'm going to navigate to File Explorer and open up E Backups. And inside the EEPROM folder is the Xbox Info.txt file. And here you can see what our Xbox HDD password is. Notice that the Xbox HDD key is zeroed out. As long as another Xbox that you have uses the same key, the password will be the same. But your passwords between two different hard drives will be different. I'm going to back up this EEPROM still, as I'm going to be able to use this to build a new hard disk for any Xbox that has its Xbox HDD key nulled. I'll then copy this to my Xbox HDM USB drive to use in the next part of this video. And that's all that there is to it. We just successfully nulled our EEPROM. Now I'm going to show you that we can quickly rebuild an Xbox hard disk if we end up with an issue. So I just plugged in a brand new hard drive into this computer and this computer has IDE ports on it and I have a flash drive that has Xbox HDM2 on it. So we're going to boot up off the flash drive into Xbox HDM2. Okay, now that we're booted into our Linux environment, we're going to open up the console. I'm going to type in Xbox HD2. And we can see that it found our EEPROM. And we're going to type in yes. My hard drive is on primary master 1, so I'm going to press 1. And now here I'm going to press 2 to activate Xbox HDM stage 2. And in the second window that pops up below, we're going to type in Xbox HD. And then we'll type in yes. We're going to type in one for build a new Xbox hard drive from scratch. Type yes. Type yes. We're going to hit yes to copy from the flash drive to the C drive. Type yes again to copy from the flash drive to the E drive. 
then press 8 to quit. Now we can just close out of this window and we'll type in Xbox HD2. Yes, one, and we're going to do three for lock the drive. Type in yes, and you can see here the Xbox HDD key is all zeros. And the password that it got is right underneath that, that starts with 43B. You press Y, and now our hard drive is locked. We should now shut down the machine and then verify that our hard drive will work in our Xbox now. Now that I've plugged the Xbox hard drive back into the original Xbox, I'm going to start it up. And now we're at Unleash X, so you can see that our new hard drive build worked perfectly. In future videos, I will talk about how to build an Xbox HDM2 USB drive and how to build an EEPROM reader for extracting the EEPROM on an Xbox that has a bad hard drive. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.